Frustum Culling is a fundamental graphics optimization technique that enhances rendering performance by ensuring that only objects within the camera's field of view, as defined by its frustum, and processed and drawn, while objects outside of this view are disregarded and excluded from the rendering pipeline. Why do we need to call objects? Rendering objects outside the camera's view is a waste of resources because they aren't visible. Frustum calling helps save time and power by ignoring these invisible objects. How does it work? For each object in the scene, the program checks whether it is inside of the view frustum. If an object is completely outside any of the six planes of the frustum, it gets cold, meaning it won't be drawn. So how to implement this on Blender? First, remove all the objects and add a new plane mesh to the scene. Navigate to the Geometry Nodes panel and click New to create a new modifier. Adding the Distribute Points on Face and Join Geometry features allows us to visualize our geometry, resulting in a plane mesh with distributed points. To add objects out in points, add the instance on points between the distribute points on face and join geometry. Then add the object info node and input it into the instance and rotation in distribute points on face to instance on points. The distribute points and faces node places points at the surface of the input geometry object, such as sphere or mesh. The instance and points node add the geometry reference to each point in the input geometry. Let's add the Raycast node. This node intersects rays from one geometry into another. The source geometry is defined by the context of the node that is the Raycast node is connected to, which is our camera. This will act as a filter to create a frustum effect. To create lens for our camera, we will generate through a procedural approach. This allows us to design and fabricate the lens using the systematic and automated process. We need to calculate the direction into our camera, which is the difference between position using vector map node on the camera and the position of the plane.
Next, we'll create a lens using nodes. First, add the grid node, followed by transform geometry node. and set position node. Then, connect the translation input to the camera's location and the rotation to the rotation in the transform geometry node. To move the lens in front of the camera, we will add the combined XYZ vector and connect it to the vector rotate and set the type into Euler. And input the rotation of the camera. into the rotation of the vector and add the set position node and connect the offset node to the output on the vector rotate. Now, to remove the false positive hits of the object in the camera, we can add vector mat and set it to the length and connect it to the vector mat subtract. Output to the input and the output of our length will be connected to the ray length. Now that you finally implemented frosted calling in Blender, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.